Hello, my name is Grzegorz Niedziela, but most of you know me as Greg X Sunday. I am a Bug Bounty Hunter and also the creator of the Bug Bounty Reports Explained YouTube channel and also other social media channels. I got into the web hacking through CTFs. I found out you can also make money while doing this. So I went to become a pen tester and I was successful with, with becoming a pen tester. Uh, I gained a lot of experience, but I knew bug bounty is something that I want to do in the long run. So always, even um, as a pen tester, I learned from a lot of bug bounty reports, from write-ups, from disclosed reports, and from basically anywhere I wanted, because I knew I wanted to, to become a bug bounty hunter one day. And eventually, I quit my job. And uh, now, for about three years now, I've been doing bug bounty uh, and YouTube full-time. I think it's the challenge. Every once in a while you find the functionality where you feel the potential of how bad would it be if, if uh, something that you're currently trying works. And it's just so addictive, the feeling of uh, feeling so close to discovering the critical vulnerability is incredibly addictive and, and it just keeps me going, keeps me willing to explore new ideas to eventually exploit the bug. I'm really paying a lot of attention to authentication, specifically if it's single sign-on or SAML-based flows. I do know really a lot about these flows. There are a lot of things that can go wrong, especially with alt. This is definitely something that, that I started to pay more attention to last year. And a big part of, of my findings this year that are authentication-related bugs. I mostly just use proxy. I'm a very much a manual hacker, so I do not rely uh, a lot on tools. I've been testing Kaido and Burp this year, and I've been switching from one to another every single time. I even had the period when I used both of them and just proxied the traffic through both Kaido and, and Burp. And I'm still undecided of which one do I want to use in the long run. No matter which proxy I know I would choose, I know that it's good that they are now competing for for basically hackers market because it just makes our proxy tools better and makes our hacking easier. Definitely I expected the, that bug bounty will maybe become smaller with time because the, the natural process that I would expect was that apps become more and more secure. But it's not actually what we see. I think we as hackers, we evolve quicker and we develop new hacking techniques quicker than developers are able to create new processes and new frameworks that are secure by default. And whereas there are some bug classes that are getting uh, fixed by something like a same site uh, cookies that fixed big part of CSRFs, we just come up with so many different attacks that some, it's something I'm surprised about that with more time, we just find more bugs, more critical bugs. And uh, luckily for us, it's more bounty being paid by the programs. Outside of hacking, I spend a lot of time doing sports, different kinds of sports. I do jiu-jitsu, I do some climbing, uh, some calisthenics. And I also like to travel around the world, especially when it's winter and it gets cold in, in my home in Poland. I like to travel to, to some warmer countries like uh, Spain or Ar Argentina. But most of my days uh, I work and then I go do some sports. And also a lot of sports are, are these days the ways for me to connect with my friends. I think the most important thing is to not procrastinate starting too late. The truth is that while advanced techniques are important, some people treat it as a way to procrastinate and they think they must reach extremely high level of web hacking skills to start by bounty, which is not necessarily the truth because Equally important is just learning to discover a lot of functionalities of the app. So 
definitely for, for beginners, they should have some basics of, of web security, but then they should start actual hunting fairly, fairly quickly and learn along the way because learning can, can be a great thing. Everyone must learn, but it can also be a way of procrastination.